Hello everyone and welcome to this brief introduction to the video lessons of this module dedicated to the presentation of some of the uh, major project results of our Charisma project and uh, uh, in particular to the presentation of the topics analyzed in project result number one uh, which is entitled Risk Assessment and Management of Cultural Heritage Across Europe. In the next lessons, the experts of the Water Research, Research Documentation Center of the University for Foreign Years of Perugia will present you in detail some of uh, the fundamental themes for understanding the European legal framework for the protection of cultural heritage from the risks emerging from climate change. I am Francesca Viron and I am project manager at Mazzini Lab Società Benefit, which is the lead partner of the Charisma project. So let's start with this brief introduction. First of all, it's necessary to start from a um, basic assumption, which is that climate change is having a significant impact, a direct and an indirect impact on the conservation of European cultural heritage. So, as this uh, text says, climate change is directly and indirectly threatening all forms of cultural heritage, whether a world heritage site or a small pilgrimage chapel in the countryside, an old steelworks or a historic garden. Um, this text has been taken by this publication entitled Strengthening Cultural Heritage Resilience for Climate Change, with, which has been published by the European Union in 2022. Um, the most evident threats stem from extreme climatic events, such as uh, severe pre precipitation, long heat waves, droughts, uh, strong winds and sea level rise, all of which will increase dramatically in the future, as predicted by the, um, all the uh, international organizations um, these days. Um, these events have immediate consequences, such as floods, forest fires, and erosion for Europe's tangible and intangible uh, cultural heritage. The impacts of catastrophic events are coupled with the slow onset of changes arising from the deterioration processes. In, in fact, gradual climate change, uh, like the continuous increase in temperature and fluctuation in temperature and humidity, or um, fluctuation in freeze thaw cycles um, causes degradation and stress in materials, leading to a greater need for restoration and conservation. Um, also, biological degradation caused by microorganisms, for example, in the form of mold and fungi and insect infestation attacking the physical fabric of buildings and the collections of galleries, libraries, archives and museums are more likely to occur. There is a little in-depth knowledge about the impacts of the climate crisis on intangible heritage. Um, the topic of rapidly increasing sim simultaneous or concurrent extreme events is currently a subject of debate in climate science, but the consequences of concurrent catastrophic events for the whole cultural heritage sector have not been adequately dealt with or investigated. And this is a major um, source of concern. The project result number one, uh, which is our report that you see here, aims to provide a study on risk assessment and management of cultural heritage across Europe, with a specific focus on the targeted countries, which are Italy, Austria, Czech Republic and Germany. Um, the study of risk assessment is based on the desk research activity, which is articulated into three distinct tasks aimed at providing a framework to address the risk of climate change in a structured way by incorporating uh, the necessary knowledge and skills to assess and address potential risks on cultural heritage from natural disasters. 
So uh, task number one, which is the desk review. It's a desk review of the existing evidence on climate change and increased risk for tangible cultural heritage in Europe, with a, a particular focus on the targeted countries, as we already said. Task, task number two is a stakeholder map. Uh, so the objective is to map the different cultural heritage institutions involved in the job market as potential employers of risk managers in cultural heritage. So for example, archives, libraries, museums, and so on. While the task number three is an assessment of the legal framework, uh, um, basically an assessment of the current situation. So all the plans that have been developed, uh, all the legis legislative frameworks and so on about the risk management related to climate change for each category ma mapped in each targeted country. So let's start with a brief overview of the desk research. Um, the desk review activity is aimed at identifying the most relevant sources of information and documents from scientific literature and grey literature, including the guidelines and the policy documents. So now some words about the focus of this desk research activity. Basically, the identification and comparison of the scientific and operational documents is focusing on First of all, pushing national and regional policymakers to integrate tangible cultural heritage in their legislation regarding natural disaster and climate change management. The second point is inviting cultural institutions at national levels to retrain their own staff, but with short and exclusive training events. Uh, then another uh, focus is providing framework and recommendation for investing more resources in risk prevention and recovery from disasters from scientific literature. And last but not least, finding best practices, methods and solutions from case studies and European funded projects. Work package number one has further refined and tailored such desk work with the coordinated support of all partners to perform a target group, tailored analysis of the knowledge and market base of the risk manager for cultural heritage trained professionals. An extended mapping has been performed of both knowledge and organizations, institutions, public and private, in order to assess the current situation about risk management related to the climate change for each category mapped in each targeted country. Um, the reconstruction of the legal framework completes the desk research activity by providing regulatory references for the management of cultural heritage and risk mitigation in Europe. The activity carried out with the coordinated collaboration of all partners aims to provide a framework on two levels, European and national. So the first order describes the, the framework of the EU directives, while the second offers an, an overview of the regulation in force at national level in the field of cultural heritage and the environment. So thank you very much for your attention. You can download for free the full report by scanning this um, QR code or by uh, logging in to our website. Thank you very, very much for your attention and enjoy the rest of the course.